Today we're going to look at this question. When purifying and isolating a specific protein from a biological sample, it's common to use the reagent DTT to denature the protein. The structure is shown below. Explain how this molecule will denature proteins and state what specific amino acid linkages would be interrupted. First thing you should remember or understand is what a tertiary structure of a protein is. The tertiary structure refers to the spatial arrangement of amino acid residues that are far apart in the sequence and to the pattern of its disulfide bonds. In other words, this is how the R groups of the peptide chain interact with one another and causes the main chain to fold on to itself. What that would look like is you have, you have a peptide sequence of amino acids and they're all folded and wrapped onto each other. And what causes this tertiary structure is when you have disulfide bonds. Okay, let's just put some disulfide bonds in here. And they're random, but they cause that peptide chain to fold onto itself, giving it its 3D structure and also giving it its activity. Okay, and when you're denaturing a tertiary structure, or denaturing a protein. Denaturing a protein is when the three-dimensional structure or shape is destroyed or converted into a randomly coiled peptide without its normal activity. How are these disulfide bonds created? Or what is a disulfide bond? A disulfide bond is when two sulfur atoms are oxidized and create a bond between the two atoms. All right, so which amino acids have sulfur and which amino acid creates disulfide bonds. Methionine has sulfur, but it does not create disulfide bonds. Cysteine, on the other hand, cysteine has sulfur in its R group, and it is the amino acid that creates, I'm messing up here, and it creates the disulfide bond. Okay, so here is the sulfur we need to create a disulfide bond. Okay, and a disulfide bond is when two cysteines come together and create, and they are oxidized and create a bond together. Okay, so let's look at it like this. So you have sulfur it lost its hydrogen okay and now you're going to create this bond between each other that is a disulfide bond okay now what happens is this molecule DTT will come in and interrupt this disulfide bond by donating hydrogens to each one of these sulfurs, reducing the disulfide bond. And so instead of a disulfide bond, you will actually have a hydrogen here. And then that causes the protein to denature because where those disulfide bonds were before holding in this in its, in its shape, let me draw this in a better spot, holding it in its shape, now what you have is reduced sulfurs, and now this can actually come apart, it will, which we call denaturing. We call that denaturing. That is how DTT works on denaturing proteins. And that's it for this question. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you all in the next video.